Godzilla is just amazing. We have probably done almost every kind of video there is to do about the G-Man. But in this video, we will be discussing about a particular iconic feature of his, his roar. What are its origins, how powerful it is, how loud it is, and also its comparison with other loud sounds generated by things such as rockets, howitzers, and animals. We shall start, however, with a brief introduction into the origin of the roar and then focus on to MonsterVerse Godzilla. Funny thing about it, Godzilla's original 1954 roar was created by composer Akira Ifukube, who dragged a resin-coated leather glove along the loosened strings of a double bass. One of Toho's electrical engineers made a simplistic amplifying device some time before the production of King of the Monsters got on the way. It was just a box that had several coils connected to an amplifier and a speaker inside it. When you struck it, the coils would vibrate and a loud, shocking sound would be created similar to that of Godzilla's. So how loud is Godzilla's roar? It is officially stated to be 174 decibels in power and can be heard 3 miles away. Seems powerful and loud enough? Actually, the decibel range of his roar and how far he can be heard doesn't really add up. Okay, let's start with basics. Decibel is a unit used to measure the intensity of a sound or the power level of an electrical signal. Normal conversation is about 60 decibels. A lawn mower is about 90 decibels. A loud rock concert is about 120 decibels. A gunshot, point blank, is around 140 decibels and any continual exposure to decibels levels of above 140 can cause immediate hearing damage. So imagine if 140 decibels can cause or impair human hearing, then what would 174 do? Again, that is the intensity of his roar. It would be strong enough to blow the glass of buildings and the eardrums and lungs of anyone near him would explode. So the humans standing close by to him anywhere from his first appearance in Hawaii to the battle in San Francisco or Boston, they would all be pulverized. Honestly, it's just a big plot hole that the main characters and all these human soldiers could still make phone calls after being in the vicinity of Godzilla when he was roaring. So if we were to compare his intensity with other animals, then the big cats would be a good reference point. So a lion or a tiger can roar as loud as 114 decibels. And the lion's roar can be heard 5 miles away. And the lion has the loudest roar of all the big cats. So what about other animals then? The blue whale, the largest animal on earth, can produce a loud whistling call that can reach up to 188 decibels. These calls can travel up to 500 miles or 800 kilometers underwater. Now we come back to the G-Man's roar. It was officially stated that he can be heard from 3 miles away or nearly 5 kilometers. Sounds weak or rather lazily estimated by legendary pictures. If a lion with levels of magnitudes lower can be heard 5 miles or 8 kilometers away, then why is a 400 foot tall titan, rather a super species, could only be heard from 5 kilometers away, that's 3 kilometers distance. That's unacceptable, and we, MindQ, will bring to you guys the actual audible range of Godzilla's roar, and for that we will have to dive into a little bit of acoustic science. See, if a point source, or rather a source of sound, in a free field produces a sound level of 90 decibels at a distance of 1 meter, then the sound pressure level would decrease to 84 decibels at 2 meters and 78 decibels at 4 meters and so forth. This principle holds true regardless of the units used to measure distance. In other words, it decreases by less than 6 decibels each time the distance of the sound source doubles. You can explore numerically to confirm that doubling the distance drops the intensity by about 6 decibels and that 10 times the distance will drop the intensity by 20 decibels. Now let's take things that we have confirmed earlier. The blue whale's whistling can reach decibels of up to 188 and a range of up to 500 miles underwater. So if we minus 12 decibels then we would have 176 which was roughly the intensity of the G-Man's roar. Then we would also have to halve the distance two times as well, bringing the range of his roar underwater up to 125 miles or 200 kilometers. But that is underwater and so he wouldn't actually be able to roar. But if we take into account something that is very loud in normal air or free field, then let us look into the Saturn V rocket. The Saturn V generated sound level of up to 200 decibels. You could theoretically hear the Saturn V from 373 miles or 600 kilometers away. Therefore, we have to subtract 6 decibels 4 times and therefore reduce the range by half 4 successive times, which would bring 37 kilometers as the result. 
So yes, in a free field or in land, that is how far Godzilla's roar can be heard, which will also correspond to sounds of artillery fire being heard more than 50 kilometers away and their intensity is about 180 decibels or so. However, this won't include the ultrasonic alpha calls of the Titanus super species, which have the ability to travel and be heard by other titans for thousands of miles away. But then that is the topic for another video. So anyway, do like, share and subscribe for more related content on kaiju, monsters and more. Remember, Godzilla can be heard from 37 kilometers away.